Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I hope yeah. I got me a little model on my head. I was about to say, I was just about to ask, because I know you did a little bit of modeling. Yeah, I hope so. so. She got her first fashion show in December, so we're going to see. Oh, so she, you are putting her into it. We're going to see. That was, about, that was what you about to yeah. ask her? Yes. What agency did you get her with? So she's not with an agency. She's a free agent right now. Um, most of my work, when I first got started, I was a free agent. Until I wanted to get into more difficult shows, you got to have an agency. So mm -hmm. shout out to Carnell, because I was signed with some Nodge Model Management. Mm -hmm. um, he put me on one of his biggest shows, Fashion Beyond the Limits. Mm -hmm. So kind of gave me the experience of like... A really, really, really big show. See, that's what I wanted to know because I'm like, what's the benefits of having an agent compared to, you know, Man, being those a big shows, New York Fashion Week, Los Angeles Fashion Week? Because, I mean, most of them, they don't, most of those designers are impressed if you're with an agency. If you're not, they just look at you as you're unexperienced. You don't know what mm. you're doing. Nine times out of ten, you know exactly what you're doing. You just, don't want to be tied down and you don't want to have those stipulations and you don't want to get that five or ten or fifteen yeah cent. i was about to say yeah but once you get in those big shows and you getting that experience out there and that exposure you know take that ten percent i don't care somebody else big gonna pick me too so mm. yeah, i'm cool with it i give it to you you used to, okay. wa you used to watch that on uh what, what was that top girl? model yeah tyra banks tyra banks them they didn't want me they said i was you went underweight. on there yeah i was underweight I was like 123 pounds. When and did you go on there? What year? I didn't know that. So I was 16 when I went. This is when they first like, started. Just really opened it up to the teenagers. She dissed you. She didn't diss me. So yeah, it's no, multiple. no, let's make it it's high. Multiple. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she dissed It's her. multiple auditions that you have to go through before you even get, get to, to get them. Get to them. I, I would imagine. And they were like, "Well, you have to look, but you're a little underweight. We need you a little. You know, we need you to kind of plump up just a little bit because of all the anorexia going on and all the girls that were going through the bulimia and stuff. They weren't messing with that. They didn't want that to And, there. and so I was like, crazy. "I ain't anemic. I eat." Right. Yeah, that's so crazy because y'all. I always thought that you know with models they want you as skinny as you can come. Now they want you thick. So I'm just like, well, I mean, I eat, but it don't stick. So I don't know. And I had a baby. And a baby is still on the way too. So see, a lot of people wish they could be you. I'm just like, well, like, oh well, fine. Don't take me. I use Instagram. It didn't stop you though. No, it didn't stop you. So that's great. That's good. Because you started modeling at how old? Because it wasn't 15. in 15. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you my started accident. modeling with, oh, tell and me that, the story. So that had nothing to do with my dad. My dad didn't even, well, he, he spoke it into existence. So mm -hmm. I'm going to say it had something to do with him. Oh, but so he knew. My dad's sister, mm -hmm. my Aunt Rachel, um, she took me to HCC College for a casting call. Mm -hmm. And I modeled for their show every year. And then after that, she just got me more and more show. Oh, she was determined. You look thin thing. You finna walk these runways. She taught me how to do my makeup, my hair. She taught me all the necessities on becoming a model. My first big fashion show that I did with her, my first big fashion campaign was um, Italian Vogue. I was the mm. only black girl and I was dead in the middle. I had glue in my eye so my eye was all pink and she was squirting red eye in my eye she was like we ain't gonna mess this up they right got you in the middle and i'm like okay but my mascara right but um yeah people she, don't understand with models how many oops they go through and they have to fix it and they have to walk hard. they have to keep walking like nothing is wrong their foot could be the ankle could I'll be take wrong singing any day over modeling. modeling what's the most difficult situation so you've ever seen happen in modeling um, we had to do a um, bridal showcase at the George R. Convention Center downtown, and it was basically maybe 10 girls, 30 looks, and they had us coming back to back. I couldn't fit the shoes, so I'm a size eight and a half, nine. My foot was in a size seven and a half mm -hmm. shoe. The dress that I had on was two sizes too small. Mm -hmm. So I'm in this corset, could barely breathe, my aunt is looking at me like, you got it. Better not pass out. When you get to the stairs, you need to basically run to get to the next designer. And I fell down the stairs, sliced my leg open. Wow. And my auntie was like, I got it. We going to patch it up and get patch going. It up. You good. Your next look is some pants. And I had graduation Did you that get day too. blood on anything? No. When I tell you she was a working art with that tape. <laughs> wow. Wow. And I almost missed graduation. So afterwards, we were running, and she was like, we got graduation. So I'm running. She was like, your hair and makeup's already done. I'm going to put my little dress on and stuff. We running down the parking lot. Yeah, we 
on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.